Some people recover from patellar tendonitis within just a few weeks. Others deal with it for years. How can recovery time be so different? I'm Martin Kurban, author of Beating Patellar Tendonitis and creator of FixKneePain.com and in this video you will learn how much recovery time you should expect and how to avoid three very dangerous mistakes that will add months to recovery time if you make them. The three dangerous mistakes I'll show you in a moment are mistakes that you may consider harmless. I sure did back when I had patellar tendonitis. But academic research and anecdotal evidence from thousands of people confirm that if you make these three mistakes, you'll either add months to your recovery time or you'll even prevent recovery altogether. Let's start with the most serious mistake. If you make this mistake, you'll completely prevent recovery. And here's why. In patellar tendonitis, your body tries to strengthen your patellar tendon by putting more collagen fibers down inside of it. These fibers are like the threads of a steel cable and the more of these threads there are, the more force the tendon can handle. But for this to work, you have to allow your body to do its job by giving it appropriate rest periods. If you don't rest enough, your tendonitis will progress into a more advanced stage in which the fibers of your tendon have become messy. The more the alignment of the collagen fibers degenerates, the longer it will take you to recover from patellar tendonitis. This is why every week you continue your regular training in spite of patellar tendonitis is at least a week added to your recovery time because you're doing more damage that you'll eventually have to repair. Academic research also confirms that continuing your regular training while rehabbing patellar tendonitis stops healing and that athletes should be removed from sports activity during rehab. Now the second mistake even seems like a good thing to do because it's based on the most commonly given treatment suggestion for patellar tendonitis, but it will actually make your tendon weak and fragile. Let's get straight to the point here. While exercising too much will make your tendon weaker over time, resting too much also weakens your tendon. Much like lying in bed for days when you're sick will make you weaker. Everyone with chronic patellar tendonitis knows that resting won't get you back to 100%. To strengthen your tendon and recover from patellar tendonitis, you need to apply just the right amount of training at just the right intervals. In my book, Beating Patellar Tendonitis, I recommend people use a training journal to track their pain scores over time. Once you're tracking your pain levels, you can start doing tendon strengthening exercises such as very slow eccentric squats or isometric wall sits two or three times per week. Next, you use your pain scores to adjust your training so that your pain goes down over time. This ensures gradual progress and I highly recommend you do it too. Without this systematic approach, you can only hmm, guess which training intensity is safe for your patella tendon. And as soon as you do too much, you'll re-injure your tendon, which will cost you additional weeks of recovery time. And now for the third mistake. If you make this mistake, you will flush all your healing progress down the toilet. Let me explain. Let's say you safely strengthened your tendon over the last eight weeks and your pain has gone down significantly. Once the pain has gone down, most people jump back into the training and pick things up right where they left them when they started rehab. Same mileage on their runs, same number of hours on the court, same amount of weight lifted in the gym. And I get it, I'm an athlete too. But here's the problem. In patellar tendonitis, tissue damage occurs before pain is felt. In fact, one study on Achilles tendonitis found that two thirds of tendons that were degenerated enough to rupture were still pain free. In other words, just because your pain has gone down doesn't mean that your tendon is completely healthy again. You need to ease back into your training slowly and pay attention to every little bit of discomfort you feel in your knee. Before we get to how much recovery time you should expect, let's briefly recap. You can avoid the three mistakes that will add months to your recovery time by following these steps. Step number one, don't continue your regular training while rehabbing patellar tendonitis, regardless of how tempting it may be. It won't work. Step number two, Get yourself a training journal and track your pain scores every day. Next, start doing tendon strengthening exercises like slow eccentric squats or isometric wall sits. And step number three, once your pain has gone down significantly, ease back into your regular training very slowly. Use your pain scores to avoid anything that increases your pain or even causes mild discomfort in your knee. As for how much recovery time you should expect, 
Academic research found that if you follow a safe tendon strengthening regimen, you can expect a reduction in pain after three to four weeks. But repairing the tendon completely will take at least three months. Now you can see why it's so important to avoid all mistakes that add additional months to recovery time because it already takes very long to begin with. What I'd like you to do next is leave a comment below this video and tell me how long you've been struggling with this injury. And if you've made any discoveries about other mistakes that also slow down healing, share them with me and the other readers so that we can benefit from your experience. Also, if you're new here, I recommend you join my free email course on patellar tendonitis. It will show you great healing exercises to get you back to your sport as soon as possible. You can sign up right below this video or by going to fixkneepain.com slash tendonitis. And lastly, if you know someone with patellar tendonitis or have friends in jumping sports such as basketball or volleyball, give them a head start on this injury by sharing the link to this video.